let's get the show on the road. Can't let this immortality buzz go to waste. For your convenience, I started a countdown timer. 23 hours and 45 minutes to save my brother. You're welcome. All right, you heard the lady. The clock is ticking. Yeah, let's get back to the ship and fire up the loom before it's too late. Has anyone seen Gary? Because someone at your party has stolen my shadow stone. So if you come across a disembodied voice floating around, crying out like a baby, then that's your culprit. Yeah, Gary went back to the ship. His bunny has IBS. Yeah, and serious gas issues. Ooh. Wow, that is some Arctic breeze blowing in. Why are we in England? Where the bloody hell's the portal? Has anyone seen Astra? You lot off your trolleys. I mean, why would Astra steal the Wave Rider, eh? I know we're friends with her now, but maybe she wants to use the loom. Oh, what if my sister's got to her? If they get control of the loom before we do, we'll never get a chance to bring my brother back. Okay, let's all just keep our cool. Gideon, what's going on? Gideon? Okay, no Gideon. Yeah, it's okay, it's okay. We'll figure this out. What just happened? Did you have another mm -hmm. vision? Uh, no, it's, um, no, it's not, it was nothing. As in, you saw nothing or what? It, it was just a, a flash and then it was nothing. I think it's the chalice. It's probably messing with my powers. So what? Now you're just blind? Oh, come Nick, on. That's, that's not insensitive. how it's <gasps> Wait, wait, wait. Uh, I think I just came up with an amazing plan. Rip set up Time Bureau safe houses all over the world, some of which are still standing, like the one in London. Yes, we go there, we get a time courier, it'll take us to the Wave Rider. Yes. yes. Okay. Yeah, babe, that is a perfect plan. And you know what? We're gonna do it. We're gonna go to London because we are immortal superheroes. Except me. Except for Zari. And nothing is gonna stand in our way. We're immortal and we're superheroes and we have to wait for the bus. Yeah. Well, at least Constantine got us these nice warm clothes. We're ready for anything, right? Yeah, like a pheasant hunt. But in our defense, we do look pretty good. Okay, tell me this. How do you live here and not have a car? Never needed one, love. Always bummed a ride. So exactly how far is it to London? Well, according to my phone, it says 275.8 miles or kilometers. Doesn't matter, it's far. When is the bus supposed to get here? Uh, according to the schedule, it'll be here in either one minute or three hours. Wait, guys, is it a holiday? Is it a holiday? Ah, finally. Yes. There we go. OK. Oh. Ah. Yeah, hold up. Who's paying the fare? Does anybody have any money? No. Uh, sir, I know this. It sounds ridiculous, but the fate of the world depends on us getting on this bus. I don't care who depends on who. When I'm driving this bus, everyone pays the fare. Have it your way. Ah! Well, come on. I am really am so sorry, sir. Believe it or not, we're the good guys. Um. Should I tell Mick that he's driving on the wrong side of the road or just... No, definitely not. It'll just confuse him more. Okay. Speaking of driving, maybe you should run point on this mission. What? Wait. Is this because you're blind? Because you totally killed it at beer pong. Thank you. But now that I can't see the future, you know, thinking maybe I'm more useful as a foot soldier. And plus, you're exactly who the team needs right now. Uh, okay. Fine, but this is only temporary, because as far as I'm concerned, we are co-captains for life. Always. <laughs>